Hold on, it's coming. All right, I think we're almost ready. Finny, get. Yep. Are we there yet? All right, I think we're almost ready. Yep. Okay, Finny, get. Turn your volume down. Are we there yet? All right. It's not Turn me. my volume down. Yeah. Hey, Benny, get. Turn your volume down. Okay, guys, are we on? Did we do it? It's not Turn me. my volume down. Hey, Benny, Turn your volume down. Maybe. <laughs> okay, guys, are we on? Did we do it? So, phone or iPad is on because I can hear Maybe. me. <laughs> okay, guys, are we on? I know. So, it's not mine. Your iPad is on because Turn what down? Your iPad or your yeah. phone volume. Okay, guys, I think it's not mine. Your iPad is on Turn what down? Your iPad or your phone volume. Do you have a second device? It's not mine. Your iPad is on Turn what down? Your iPad or your phone volume. Your iPad or your phone volume. The problem is if I turn it down, I can't hear you, hun. That's right. <laughs> Hey, Misty. Look at there. Misty joined us. Thanks for coming, Misty. Katie's here. And Christine is here. She's the one that helped me figure all this out. So, yes, Katie is telling us if you have another device, it's going to cause, um, like, feedback. So, look at there. I think we're right. Can you hear? Is that better? I hear you. Okay. Cool. Are we good? I feel good. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for um, dropping in to say Hey to us tonight. Um, we are going to muddle through this together. The three of us, man, we can get into some trouble. <laughs> so we are going to try to do this first live for um, two of my special guests tonight. If you've never been to my channel before, my name is Beth, um, Carolina Princess, Sweet Treats and Pretties. And tonight I'm very honored to have a couple of guests with me that I recently got to meet in person. So excited. And that is Martha with Vintage Conversation and Tammy with Vintage Uprising Texas. I got it right, didn't I, Tammy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So, ladies, y'all let me know if um, there is something in the chat that I am missing. Oh, hi, Stephanie. Thrifting Adventures is also here. Thanks for coming. So it looks like, let's see. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, take turns showing the items that we got at Round Top. Oh. Went to Antiques Week in Round Top two weekends ago, ladies? Last weekend? Two weekends. Two weekends, yeah. And Tammy had scouted it out a week before us and knew all the really cool places to go and um, Martha got there first so she got to look around too but then they went back through um, and saw new things that we had not seen before so we all picked up a bunch of items and it was so much fun it was a pleasure to meet them in person and um, we had a really good time the best part is that they're just like they are on their videos which is super cool um, <laughs> And we have very similar tastes. We all look for something different, which is which is cool, but we have very similar tastes. So Martha, I would like for you to start out by just telling everybody your name, your channel, and just saying, hey. Hey, <laughs> I'm Martha. I am Vintage Conversation. I've been around for a little while, maybe about a year, lurking, doing some talking, and just recently started my own channel. So that's me. Thank you. Um, Tammy? I'm Tammy with Vintage Uprising Texas. 
I think I also have been doing this for about a year on YouTube um, or just under. And I started out by decorating the home and started collecting too much and started being a reseller. So I'm again, so excited to get to um, meet these ladies and instant bond. So that was cool. That's one of the best things about the little YouTube group. But when y'all say that everybody is a so nice and they B, are, um, they're just, they're so helpful too. They're a fun group. So, <laughs> Hey, sweet Nate. Sweet Nate is in the house, y'all. So everybody say hey to sweet Nate. That's my Hi, Nate. Nate for Nate. So, all right, we're going to get started and we're each going to show an item. Um, just tell you kind of why we picked it up and we're going to go in like just a round robin. So I'll go first. I have no idea what I found first. So I'm just going to pick something. Oh, before we get started, I have to show you the rooster. So if you watch my live, um, my first solo live haul, I had a green metal rooster and he's done. I finished him. Here he is. Look, Nate, he's so dapper. <laughs> so cute. He is um, painted and distressed. And he's now a Christmas rooster. So I thought he turned out really great. So I wanted to show you guys my rooster that I had at my first live haul. So, all right. Thanks, Christine. Okay, so I'm just going to pick something. This was not even close to the first thing that I found, but it was a little girl statue. And I have no idea. I think I paid maybe 2 or $3 for this. But um, she is marked Japan, but she has a little bunny. Kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland with the little bunny. She doesn't look like it, mm -hmm. but she also has a tambourine. And look, look at her backside. <laughs> She's got a big red hat on and her ballerina slippers. She is marked Japan on the bottom, but I thought she was super sweet. So I picked her up. I think she was $3. All right, Martha, I'll let you go next. Okay. I hope you're not hoping that, thinking that I'm going to remember the prices of these things because most of the things I bought, I bought in a bundle with other things. So I don't even know what they were. I could, I could guess, but wouldn't do any good. Anyway, my first item is this green Murano rabbit. He's in good condition, no problems. Um, when I saw him, I first thing I thought was, oh, please let that be Murano. And I said to the ladies, I said, oh, I found a Murano rabbit. And they're like, how do you know it's Murano? And I said, the sticker on the bottom. <laughs> so that was my first item, a green Murano rabbit. All right, Tammy. Okay, my first item will be this little black piggy wearing a yellow outfit. He's ceramic. He's a piggy bank. He was full of pennies. Um, and I had to get him out by a butter knife with a butter knife because his bottom is filled in. It's like clayed in or something, but I thought he was cute. And, but I got him out. He's empty now. I didn't count the pennies. I forgot to count the pennies. But they were older. They were um, all, you know, mostly 60s, 1960s pennies. <laughs> so I guess that kind of dates him. <laughs> and no marks. He might have been a. I a, remember a, when a, you got that. <laughs> craft piece. Um, what do you call it? That somebody did it at a home project, maybe? Yeah. So he's pretty cute. I didn't see that one. We were all in the same places at the same times. Martha was with me when I got him. And I didn't see how yeah, we were stuff. digging pennies out of him to try to date him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I missed a whole section of salt and pepper shakers because that Martha found. So I never even saw them. <laughs> All right. So I got another little um, figurine. I don't have my glasses on. And I think he's left in, right, Martha? He, we decided that he had the sticker that's left in on the bottom. Um, but yes, look I recall. Little, yeah, it says it. a little pricksy, and he's playing a flute. 
and he has a he's the little squirrel is attentively listening to him but he is super cute y'all that little face so and there was nothing broken not the tip of his shoe not the little squirrel's hand or the flute or any of his little flowers at the top but i just thought he was super cute and i do think that i think i got him for three dollars too i'm not sure but i just thought he was precious so i picked him up all right martha you ready well my next item yeah my next item is a planter it is a duck it's got a very pretty uh glaze on it green and I, I love planters. He's not marked, so I don't know where he came from or how old he is. But like I said, I, I have a, a weakness for planters and salt and pepper shakers. So anyway, he's real good. There's nothing wrong with him except I turn him over and he's got one little chip on the bottom of his tail feathers that you can't see when he's, you know, sitting up like he should be. He's not a drunk duck. So, but I liked him and... I think I'm going to keep him. We're starting with that already. Ms. Tammy, what do you got? <laughs> I have a little Prixie. He's he's in different colors. Little Prixie L. Um, I haven't seen him in orange and yellow, but uh, I've been wanting to start collecting these. I don't know if I'm going to sell it. I'm going to start <laughs> keeping everything I got. Like I need another collection, but. There's no markings on him. He's a little dirty there, but he's pretty big. I love his ears. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's so cute. And I didn't see him, so. Me either. Yeah. Missed him. <laughs> yep. I snuck him in my bag yeah, and y'all weren't looking. Him first she, I, had to see. <laughs> but he, I, he, I think I got him for a dollar or two. So I can't remember exactly. Tammy had scoped out nice. all of the that had like good prices and the people that were making big deals and stuff. I know we all three shopped this one gentleman and he was like, um, this looks like, oh, I don't know, $8. Like two or three of the things that we had were five and six and $8 a piece. So, um, he just had a lot of stuff, but hi, Michelle with Newton's cupboard. Thanks for coming. And I'm going moderator he heavy. I'm making everyone that comes moderator. <laughs> Hi, Erin. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just so excited. I figured out how to make a moderator. That's that's part of the problems. Thanks, Erin, at the um, at the collection vintage for coming. I just watched her gift thrifting gift collaboration that she is doing with Heather, I think. And I thought, oh Lord, if I did a collaboration video on everything that I've thrifted that I've been turned into a gift for someone or had the idea of giving to a gift, it'd be a long video. All <laughs> right, look at my next one. Look at his fat face. I did think of um, Misty because she loves funny faces and on, on little figurines and it's really tiny too. But look at this dog with his chubby cheeks. He is so cute. There's nothing really special about him. He is marked Japan on the bottom or stamped Japan on the bottom. But y'all look at that little face. He's cute. I thought he was cute and I, I think he was, I don't remember where he was or how much I paid for him, honestly. All right. Who's next? That he would be me. Okay. My next item is something that I bought for myself. It's a trio of the spaghetti poodles. Now, I haven't been collecting these very long, so I haven't seen this blue color. Um, it's not really gray. It's really a blue. A mom and her two babies and it's still got its chains and I looked him over and I had thought he had damage on one of his legs but he really doesn't everybody's good except his tail at some point has been broken and glued back on but like I said that doesn't bother me because I'm keeping him I bought him specifically for me to go with my new collection but it's not marked I think 
identify the style of the spaghetti that he is Japanese, um, so and not Italian or American. But if you guys know who have more experience than I, please let me know so that I can get the correct, you know, heritage to him. But I've never Carl, found any spaghetti it could stuff. Be dad, couldn't it? Really? Never. This is my well. It's my third piece, so it's a big collection. <laughs> I found a spaghetti uh, right, so, poodle. But yeah, so our you sheep found is a spaghetti uh, sheep with the jewels in it, but yeah. some of the jewels are missing. At at Round Top or before? No, another time. All right, what you got, Tammy? Okay, I have these mid-century uh, ashtrays. I just love the color. I love mid-century, and I do love the colors. Uh, rather, you know, we don't always use everything for an ashtray anymore, but they have the little dib divots in it, and there's no markings, but the colors are fabulous, and they're two matching ones. So, what do you think of those? Those were so nice. They're kind of small, but still could be as a um, hold your change or those little odd and end things but hey I, I bet you could still put an air planner uh, planner in here because it's kind of deep there you go. <laughs> we'll put Love those colors uh, air plan in any yeah you can put a couple of different air plants in mm -hmm. there <laughs> yeah all right my next one is a little um, brown bottle it is an old log cabin um, I don't know if, what is it called? Log cabin syrup bottle, I think. Yes. So it says log cabin on the bottom. But the reason that I picked it up, if you can see, it is the Statue of Liberty on there. And it says, give me your tired, your poor, your humble masses. So I just thought that was really cool. I'm trying to get it to show you the actual um, piece on there. So you can kind of see there's the Statue of Liberty on there. It doesn't have a lid, but I think the ones that I've seen actually had a cork in this one. Mm -hmm. um, but it doesn't have it doesn't have a lid. But I thought if you put this out at the 4th of July with some cotton um, sprigs in that, that would be pretty. Or even like Veterans Day, but also the small spindled, like chair spindles. I paint those up when they're salvaged and I put a um, flag on them. So I paint them like white and I put a flag on there and I've got some really small ones um, and they, it would fit down in there. So I thought that would be cute. So I picked that one up. It doesn't have a year. I couldn't find a year or anything on it, but it actually has the little log cabin piece on the bottom. I thought it was cute. It All is. Right. It's very nice. You can use it in the fall or the in the summer. What I thought. All right. The next thing I picked up was um, a pair of plaques. And they're roosters. Everybody likes roosters. This one's a pecking on the ground. And I don't know. Can you see the... Uh, they're a hobbyist piece. I thought they were going to be store-bought. But when I got them home and got all the tape and stuff off of them, they were hobbyist. Are they plastic but or whoever chalkware? painted them? I thought did a no. They're chalkware. There's like the faintest hint of a um, mold number on the back, but I can't read it. But what they do say is to mom. This one says to mom, Ruth Ann, and this one says happy birthday, R A C. So I'm supposing that Ruth Ann's last name started with a C. Those are really cute. I like those. Everybody likes I roosters. Like a lot. So you can hang them up. They go with my yeah, paint. Roosters are popular, right? <laughs> yeah. I have to bring them over and you can sell them in your booth. <laughs> yeah. I've been busy got, working on that show. Y'all, it's about to kill me. Goodness. I got this uh, Christmas oh, bar. Um, it has bells in it. It, in a, this plastic with that with the the bells are like got a little oh. bit of felt on them and the gold but uh 
I do well with Christmas items on Etsy. So that's why I went ahead and picked this up. It's definitely vintage. Well, those. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, they're definitely vintage. <laughs> but. I like those. It's kind of cute. I'm not sure, maybe three foot long, maybe four. I don't know, I didn't measure it, but. What are these called? Those, um. Those holly and berries? Yeah, yeah. The holly? And are the bells flocked? Yeah, that's what I was, felt flocked. Um, Sorry, I look like this because I have my contact. I don't know if that's felt or flocked or what is it right called? Um, and then go glitter around on the bell and around the edges of this. But. It don't make noise. <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, I have my well, contact. That's the best kind sometimes. <laughs> so if I look down here where y'all are much bigger, I can see everything without going like this. Yeah. <laughs> um. So the next piece was also, I think, Martha, we found this when all three of us were at that gentleman's booth that I was talking to that had the $2 table. So remember this piece and there were two of them, but this was the mm -hmm. best. Of so it is just a clear ashtray, but the reason that, and we almost got the other one, but the other one had damage on it, right? Martha, I think we remembered it. But when we looked at it, mm -hmm. the thing that we liked about it was if you noticed right here, it doesn't have the um, area code and the other digits. It just has one digit and it just has the last four there. It also does not have a zip code in there, in the, in the address. The address is also, um, all right, Christine and Aaron and Katie, this is 501 Bleecker Street in Utico, New York. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that at the bottom, the address. This was, I think, a interior decorating by Latier. I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but um, so this had to be another New York piece. But I thought that was cute. No chips or anything on on that. So um, I picked that up and everything that I got that guy's booth. I mean, I got the majority of the stuff there and it was eight dollars. So remember, we walked out of there with a big old bag. Um, I think we all got a bunch of stuff from him. He was a nice guy. <laughs> Mm hmm. He was. So, thing, it has to be before and, 19. And that, I lost you. Oh, Katie. At that is, same booth, I picked up two of these. Hold on, Martha. She's saying that there's oh, a Bleaker Street pizza um, in New York. How about that? So she actually knew the street. That was cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is cool. It's nice when you can get a connection like that. Well, in that man's booth, um, like I said, I got two of these and I've never seen them before. It's a weather forecaster. Now, what you do is, and it even says weather forecaster on it. Oh, right yeah. That's there on the, the steps. Now, I, on the back, it still has its card that tells you how it works. And I read it. And what you do is you turn that chimney. It's hooked to the figures. And you line them up evenly in the doorway. Now, one side is a witch and one side is some Dutch children. It says that if the witch comes out of the house, it's going to rain in 8 to 24 hours. And if the children come out, it's going to be dry and sunny. So... So that's what predictor, what can I tell you? <laughs> I got this one and I got one in this kind of tortoise shell looking. But he it doesn't has have the back or the little knob roof. I'm sorry? He had both of those. The guy he mm -hmm. had both of those in his booth. Yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. I'm trying to remember which guy outside this on that table that we. Tammy, well, it was, was the... telling Beth about uh, in Sugar Land. He had the two dollar table outside. 
he had like a tent, um, nice, really tall um, African-American guy, older. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. He's real sweet. Yes. But he had a, he had. I go to him every time. He had us in a line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had a lot of good stuff. I can't remember what I got there. He does. I did get something though. What else you got, Tammy? <laughs> um, I got these. Those were in your picture. <laughs> I got uh, the Halloween mask. Can you hear me if I'm talking behind it? <laughs> I think I had this one when I was a little girl. <laughs> but um, they're in very good shape. I got these for I did too. $2 each. and Or $3 each. But um, the plastic it, string is not on them. But... Um, other than that, they're real and all in good shape. No, maybe a little bit of crack right here, but they're in good shape. This one has part of the string, but this one's tiny looking. Oh my gosh, look at them! <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought these were real cute. I've seen people where they for Halloween they use these and decorate a tree with them, a bunch of masks. Uh, I seen that on Pinterest or on Instagram one, but I just thought those were really cute. Don't you just I should wear this the rest of the show, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Halloween's over. <laughs> but those are cool and not to be dated. That's good. It feel a little dirty. I'm surprised they uh, survived. Yeah, me too. For the the thinness of the plastic, yeah, they're real good. Well, when we were kids, we wore them to death. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad that the um, actual costume, the bottom half wasn't with them, but, you know, these are cute. These are cute to hang on the wall and during Halloween or... Or where? It's the princess one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know what era, probably 60s and 70s for these. I don't know. I, would I don't think uh, the princess one. I know was there one. then, so <laughs> that's too young. <laughs> now I remember the box plastic. You know, you got them in a box. The yes. costumes that had like the mask and this plastic plastic costume. that you had to get in. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever fit them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so especially right, then, not me. <laughs> The, I put my down in a sleeve, so I could put my arms in. I think my mom dressed me up as a hobo one year, and it was like her pants, her, my dad's old shirt, and she like put makeup on my face to make me look dirty. I mean, I'd been playing outside all day; I probably was dirty, um, but it was always it was always fun. Okay, the next thing that I picked up is a Scotch tin. Now, this one is a little bit different. Because this is all weather vinyl plastic electrical tape. So it's not like scotch tape, like the clear tape, but it is, um, so it's the number 88, I think. But it is a plastic tin. It's um, plastic. I cannot get it open yet, but I'll let Lovey work on that. <laughs> but, but I think there's something in it. It feels like there's tape in it. Maybe it's not open yet. It does, it is plastic, I think, but I picked that up because they do look cute um, in a little display, lots of great colors. And it's pretty big. It's probably about three inches across. Mm -hmm. So I picked that one up too. All right, Martha, your turn. I remember I missed that one. <laughs> that was where I went running for the dollar table. Oh my gosh, y'all, that, was, that, that was funny. funny. <laughs> I, I tried to catch it on video. Martha, well, I, can I see was some front. shakers. Tammy was right behind me, and Martha was back there just chatting to love, love, her lovey, her own hus husband. And all of a sudden, we kind of stopped because there was a table, and I looked, but I didn't really see the dollar sign. And here comes Martha just passing me. 
<laughs> and it's because she was getting to the dollar table. So I had to put that in my video because the man behind you was like, absolutely, you have to hurry when you see a dollar table. <laughs> I heard him. <laughs> well, it was good because I found two salt and peppers there that I like. I got a train. Whoops, like this. And it's there, isn't that the prettiest green color? Mm hmm. Ceramic salt and pepper shaker. It's got the train and it's got the little caboose. Was that but on the dollar table or the $2 table? I got that one there. And uh, you know what? I think it was at the $2 table. They lured me in with the dollar. Yeah. And then because they had a dollar the table, a $2, table. a $3, and a $5 or something like that. We didn't see all that. We just saw stuff. And you know, I, I think I bought something else there. Too. And then I got this set. And it's a pitcher. They're salt and pepper shakers in the shape of pitchers, but they're redware. Oh, yeah, that's right. And they've been, you know, done black. I found them in a book, but you know, the darn book didn't tell you who made them. Just identified them as salt and pepper shakers. So big help. <laughs> um, but I'm Tammy, a sucker for salt and pepper shaker. The collection vintage Erin is telling you she loves your cupboard color and your backsplash. My what? Your cu cabinet cover color and your backsplash. Oh, <laughs> I've been so tempted to repaint these too, but I don't want to repaint the cabinets. <laughs> no, too I'm much not. work. Yeah, I got matching um the canisters and the cups and. It's I'm trying to do the green, orange, and ye uh, yellow in here. My husband's not pleased about it, but I don't care. <laughs> but at that same booth that y'all were at, you remember that? Martha was with me, I think. Martha, you I got this mm -hmm. vintage vinyl purse yeah. and the drawstring. It has the cloth inside. Um, a little cotton cloth and it has four pockets on the outside, two on one side and two on the other. I just love this. I'm real tempted to use it for a little while, carry it around. <laughs> does it have a strap? Oh, it does have a long yeah. strap? No. Yeah. Well, it's not long. It's more of a, um, just the wrist one, not a shoulder. So a hand purse, hobo, they call them a hobo bag, but it's vinyl and it, I love this cool print. Now I've had um, a purse like this before that was uh, all red and I sewed it and I still have a brown one like, just like it. And this is when it's all flattened. But I think it's kind of cool for it to be. It's the 70s from the 70s. It's good for Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's fun. I, well, I told I her I had a lunch bag like that when I was young. <laughs> but I thought it's cute. It looks like fire, leaves. I don't know. So, I think and it's big. It looks like kind of like hand tooled leather when you see it in person. <laughs> so it's big enough. Katie, Katie, saying you could put jewelry in it when you travel. And when I saw it, I didn't know it had handles on it. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, all your brushes and stuff around the outside and your makeup on the inside. Um, for, you know, a real uh, estate makeup bag or something. Yeah. It's big. It's a, it's, it's a good size, uh, bag. Huh. I mean, put all your get ups in that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a good size bag. It's, it's good enough for a purse. So, all right. So my next one is, I remember everybody saying, um, that when you find the little spoons, the little jam spoon, you should pick them up. So we went into this one booth and I saw a whole container full of the little jam spoons. And I was like, Tammy, didn't they tell us when we see those, we're supposed to pick those up so that you can, like, if you have like a cream or a sugar or a jam jar that, and it doesn't have the spoon, you can always include it in there. Well, I actually got, they were a dollar a piece which when I look them up just to see like what replacements were, um, they're much more than a dollar a piece when you go to buy them. So I got seven total, 
but I got this one I think is a sugar. So look at the shape of this one. See how it's bigger right here? Um, because when you look at this one, it is more narrow. So I, I don't know if this is jam and this is sugar. It's kind of like, and I told them, mom, I think I have, we have this old pattern. Don't we have that pattern? I think it's in my drawer in the kitchen. I don't think it's this one, but I, we could have had that one as well. Um, they have some markings on the back. Of course, I can't see that because I don't have my glasses yet. And apparently I'm going to need like magnifying glasses to see. But these were two of them. And um, then I got a set of five. And these are really tiny, but they all have a different flower. So apparently they were a set. Let me see if I can figure out how to show you. So can y'all see that? See the little flowers on there? Mm-hmm. And then there's those two. Oh, I dropped one. There's those two. And then there's this one. So there's five different um, flowers on these little tiny ones like this. So, I mean, the what, the, selling these in a set, if I don't need all of those, and then using these as extras, that would be good. But I thought about tying these up with a little red tool um, and selling that as a set at the market when it, when it comes up. In like two weeks. Eh. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to that. I want to go check it out. Y'all should come. It's close. Y'all are close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to come. We're going to come see it. We wanna I want to see you in action. See you in all your glory. I'll be so tired because yeah. love can't take off the day before, which is setup day. So I will be setting up all by myself. It's going to be, it'll be crazy, but I can do it. If you need help, I'll come help you. All right, come well, on. <laughs> that's what I was going to say. You probably know a couple of people who could come help you if you needed it. So <laughs> There you go. And I have decorative experience. <laughs> all, all right. right. Like I said, I'm, I'm a sucker for planning. So I got this one. Oh, she's big. Let me see if I can get her all in there. She is a um, Dutch girl double planter, but I have not been able to identify her. She has no markings on the bottom to identify her with. This is what she looks like. She's real good. She's got a little rough edge on her hat on either side. She's the tiniest rough edge, but everything else is in good shape. I don't remember you picking that up either. I've tried to find her. I don't remember I, that. I found some similar in style, but they don't have as, as thin and delicate an arm and rope for the, because these are supposed to be buckets. <clears throat> and so I was looking in my California pottery book and she reminded me a lot of what um, Heidi Shoup made, but I don't know how she marks her stuff. And it's probably not just, you know, me wanting it to be, to be able to identify it, but. I couldn't find her, but she's, look, two. I can put two air plants uh -huh, mm -hmm. <laughs> in one planter. There you go. And, oh, look, and look how bright that blue is. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's in great shape. But she's going to take up a lot of room because she's, yeah, but she's really big. So. I like her. <laughs> we still like her. <laughs> Okay, I got this. I yeah. love industrial I, stuff. I can, we de like we decorate our living room and and stuff with this. But um, this is a a uh, a block printer, a press, um, the old newspaper design. Oh, okay. And it's it's of a woman, and she's all fancy. And her is she holding can, something? If I can figure out her. Um, <laughs> the camera here um it says this says where can i put it uh what does it say um i see she's got high heels on yeah it says oh my it doesn't fit something like that it said um uh, and then this off. is the <laughs> advertisement down here but i don't know if she's supposed to be wearing a girdle or was it pantyhose i don't know but 
It, it looks like it. Um, the, the Our ball. corsets that they used to wear. No, it might know, have been the corsets. They were getting dressed I tried to up look it up with the sayings to see what it is. So it looks like somebody cut out the wood here and probably used it as a picture frame. You know, so. Maybe. It could yeah. have been. I mean, but it's been cut because you can see where the the cuts are. But I don't know what else it would have been. Maybe the advertisement was actually in here of what it was. But it's kind of cute. And I thought you know, it'd be a neat she's picture. not damaged. You can still use her. Yeah. Yeah, we were trying to put some ink on it earlier to see what this uh, said down here. Um, it was hard to read. I forget what it what we thought it said. But anyways, she's kind of cool, though. I love these ink um, block printers. It's pretty thick. But it's a good decoration piece, even though it's backwards. The words are backwards. So It is a neat. I've know never had one. Been. All right. My, I think, uh, no, I got two more pieces from the guy at the $2 table, but it's planner day. Um, I just like the color of this one for fall and even for Christmas, but it has um, a great texture on there. And it's just a rectangular shape. It doesn't have any markings in this. And I want to say, I looked it up, but I can't remember what it said. I can't remember what it said. I want to say that it was just like a California pottery or something. Um, it doesn't have a McCoy marking. And when I looked it up, it didn't say McCoy. I found the very same um, planter, but I can't remember what it says. But I thought it was just great. It was no chips or cracks or anything in there. Not even crazy. Um, it's got a lot of good weight to it. But I thought with, you know, some frosted pine and some berries and stuff and maybe some ornaments or something a little elf or something hanging over that would be cute at christmas but overall it's really cute just the color mm -hmm. because in summer you can put sunflowers like that in there and that would be cute too so it's just a great color to use year round and it's not very big i mean it's got a lot of space but it too much for an air plant but it would um it would it, it's not going to take up too much so I just picked that one up. It only has a P on the end, y'all. And it did tell me, if I had the computer, I would be able to tell you what it is because I looked it up. But um, I just liked that one. So I, I that was on the $2 table, too, that turned into a whole box for $8. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I saw this. Oh, she's so cute. Sitting there. I think y'all bought she all the planners that were there. To me. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I didn't. But I knew I had seen her somewhere. And so I flipped her over. And when I saw her bottom, I knew exactly what she was. She's Royal Copley. See the two lines? And so I brought her home. I pulled out my Royal Copley book. There she is. She's Dutch girl with barrel planner. Look at that face. And she's great. Nothing wrong with her. So you already looked her know, up. Look at that. She looks just so. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Because I had to make sure that I was right about what I thought. But I mean, I don't know. I think she's carrying a barrel of beer or something. She looks so happy. <laughs> wine grapes for wine. Yeah, you know, something. And there's a little boy that goes with her, too. But he wasn't there, or I would have grabbed him. Because the boys are the hardest ones to find. Yeah, everybody always says they find um, girls, but they don't find boys, even little figurines. That's one of the reasons that I picked up that little um, Trixie or fairy or elf or whatever. Because it was the boy, remember? I wonder why that is. And I think it was Misty, Thrifter, Junker, Vintage Hunter, that said the boys were so hard. Dying, yeah. But I don't remember her saying why. <laughs> okay. Now, you know some of the booths down at Round Top, um, Warrington, there's some real junky booths and some real nicely displayed booths, right? Um, and the junkier they are, they're usually the cheaper they are. 
But I found this at one of the real junky booths. So it was dirty. It, you know, it had dust and whatever all over it. Can you see it's a uh, loose light um, purse box with a flower, okay. the flower clasps. How does it fit? Yeah. Um, there should have been a mirror here on the inside. Uh, well, I thought, oh, this was a great find because it was pretty cheap. But once I got it home and cleaned it up more, I found it had a crack in it. Oh, no. And these no. can run over $100, you know. So, and I got it for like 10 so 8 or 10 or something like that. But I love these box purses. But for not examining it in that bright sunlight, I found that it had a little crack in it. So that's probably why it was so cheap. But, you know, those were one of those booths that everything was just thrown out there, probably left in the rain when it rained. Um, and it did rain up there one day. I know for sure because we went up there one of the days it rained. But I really like this purse. And I was so upset that yep. it was cracked. I mean, it's... Can y'all see it? I think you can make a beautiful display piece out of it, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. it'd be real pretty on it. A... By opening the lid a little yeah. bit and putting something in it. Yeah. I mean, like other that, than that, it's all the handle in, in the front and then the lid up. But Put like your makeup it. in that. Yeah. <laughs> I still think it's beautiful. Just don't it say is. cheap. Normally in the in the uh, chat, somebody goes, Put, when we don't know what to do with it, somebody will just say, it's for cheese. I know Casey <laughs> always is like, put cheese on it or put it for <laughs> So I was waiting for somebody to say that. Um, I'm going to do all of these together. We uh, wanted towards the end, we ran into that um, booth that had all the playing cards. And it was right before... Laura Bemos did the deep dive with Patrick, but um, we, Misty always uses the cards for um, package toppers. And I've seen people use the little cards um, for price tags and things in their booth, or even um, they use them and put the sticker. Like Misty is like, you can even print you off a sticker and use it on a vintage playing card, especially if the whole deck isn't there. And that way you don't have to print um, business cards. So, when I saw them, I was like, oh, I'm getting them. Well, I had picked these up. I don't think this was in the same booth. Could be. I could be wrong. But this one, because today is election day and all that mess is going on. But this is um, the White House. It's a vintage deck of White House playing cards. And it is in the plastic little case. Um, so I picked those up. Then there was a couple of other ones. I actually saw this one in a... In, and he had them in these great little bags. But this is new in package. And this is the, um, it's, a it's, a it's a slogan. Hey, Katie, tell me what this is. This is one of the smiling um, Coca-Cola. But it's the African-American deck of cards that it was like, have a Coke and a smile or something. It's something about smiling, but it's a Coca-Cola deck of cards that is unopened. I don't think it's super, super old. The, some of the cellophane is ripped right there, um, but I did think of Katie when I picked this up, all of her Coca-Cola stuff, um, but these actually do very well. They go for about, on eBay right now, the last sold, I think, was maybe $15 for this deck of cards. Um, but we paid a do uh, 75 cents. Remember, we paid 75 cents for our decks of cards. Um, so I hope Katie is still here mm -hmm. and tell me what the slogan is for this Coca-Cola. I can't remember what it's called, but I did look it up. Um, another one that I got was <clears throat> this one is called Christmas Cards. And I haven't opened it. Oh, it's open. I can open it. Oh, no, I didn't. That's why I did it. But it's, um, here's the box. Christmas cards. And I thought the box itself was just super cute. But it is unopened. And it is a Christmas deck of playing cards. And it has a date of 1986, I think, on the bottom. Can y'all see that right there? 
1986. She said um, the barcodes on it, yeah, late 70s, but I don't remember what the slogan was. It was something about smiling faces or have a Coke and a smile, remember that slogan? Um, and then um, Christine said, I think I had those cards as a kid. Then I found a set of cards that was a Kellogg's commemorative. It was for their 50th anniversary, and it was from, um, from 1906 to 1956. It was the Kellogg's of Battle Creek. It was golden anniversary, and I don't know if y'all can see that with the glare, but it actually comes in the box for the cards, and they're unopened as well. So I got that um, deck of cards, and then I got three small decks. Oh, she wants to see it again. Can you see that, Katie? Uh-huh. Um, that was the, um, but I got three um, small sets. Now, this set I want to use for either price tags, but look at the little print on that. Those are really cute, but look how little, because this is a regular deck of cards, and this is the reg this is the smaller deck. So it's just a much smaller deck of cards, and those were I think a dollar each but for these that are open I'm going to probably use them like price tags or package toppers and then I found another set that didn't have a box in it at all but the reason that I got it was look at these beautiful this beautiful picture on it I love that they're the little blue bird birds yeah and it says it's the name of the bird Oh, it's the blue titmouse bird, and it's a series. But look, they're even all old and vintage-like cards. All right, she's gonna look it up for us and tell it, um, tell us what it is. And then the last one that I got was just another group of little miniatures playing cards, and this one is Norman Rockwell. Leave. And it's called Raking Leaves or Fall or something like that. And bye, Christy. Thank you for coming. But you see it has the little, the fall bye. scene. And here's here's the Joker because she talked about, I know she and Patrick talked about the Jokers being like the most important part of a deck of cards. And I was like, how about I used to throw those away? There, and there's that. Because I never played a game that needed them. So. How do you play Canasta without Jokers? I don't have to know how to play Canasta, so then there's that. <laughs> My mother played Pinochle, but I didn't. Um, I don't know how to play that. So I got all of those cards. I can't remember if they were um, 75 cents times four. So three. I think it was five, $5, four or five dollars, five or six dollars for all of these playing cards. So that was good. That was a good deal. Playing cards together. Do you remember the tent we went in where you were looking at the brooches, the pins? And yes. You were asking about the price and the lady was it happy about the price that the other lady gave you? She that told you two dollars and I went up there to check out she told me three dollars or something. Yeah. Yes. I asked her, how much are your yeah. pins? And she you know. said $2. And she goes, well, if they're individually marked. Let me know. We'll work a deal. But if they're not, they're $2. And so when T I told Tammy, and when Tammy, she went to check out before I did, and the lady quoted her something else. And I was like, no, that lady back there that was eating her sandwich told us um, $2. And that, her, the lady cashing out got upset, remember? <laughs> She was yeah. really mad at her. I'm not going to buy these if we're going to sell them that jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, I'm not going to buy any more jewelry if she's just going to give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's. I heard her say that. Well, I bought two salt and peppers there, and the first one I bought was Thanks this one. Here. And it's a 60s Lucite. The reason I purchased it is because it's an advertising piece. And I'd never seen a salt and pepper shaker like this. They were called Diner, I think it was Diner salt and pepper shakers. And at the bottom, they've got these corks. Can you see them going in and out like that? 
that's how you get your salt and pepper. You mm. push the button and it pulls the cork up and lets the pepper or the salt come out of it. And I've never seen anything like that. Of course, now when I look them up, they're all over the place, but I hadn't seen one. <laughs> and then I got this one, and this was the bone of contention with the lady at that booth. Uh-oh. I got these little wooden ones in the stool, in oh, the cute. seat. They're, ja they're Japan. Even the corks say Japan. I got them because they're wood. They've got roosters. They're a souvenir. They have a horse on them, and they're a souvenir from Kentucky where they have the Kentucky Derby. So that was right. why I chose them. But they were a little bit higher than I thought was reasonable, and I, I cannot actually tell you what the price was. I don't remember. But I remember I did ask her if I could get them for a dollar cheaper, a whole dollar. And she got so upset with me, and I told her, <laughs> That's okay. I understand. You know, I won't get them. That's fine. No, you can have them, but they are so hard to find. I'm like, well, it's okay. It's okay. No, you can have them. I felt so bad for buying these from the poor woman. <laughs> Am I, I guess I'm a bad person because I asked for a dollar off, but I'm a bargain hunter. All they have to do is say, no, I don't get mad. Yeah, <laughs> that's I funny. Mean, do y'all do y'all ever try to negotiate a better price? Yeah, I have. No. I mean, especially oh. when it's a Can higher dollar. I have. I'm not I, good I at asking though. I really you don't. do. Bam, I you're, you're the Carolina princess. <laughs> I'm not good at that. I'm just like either. Does nobody ever? <laughs> <laughs> well, Wait, does nobody negotiate with you at your booth? Oh no. It's not a, it's not a, um, no. I it, guess the, it's a different, it's a, it's a different atmosphere. It is. It is like a, it's not a, um, well, I guess, like I'm, just, I guess I'm just bad thing, but it's like if, if at a flea market, as opposed to the yard sale, yes, you, you know, they'll say like flea markets and yard sales and stuff. But if you went into a store, you know, a real store, you wouldn't ask them, you know, for like a, a real store, but um, they don't do that at least in the majority of the booths in that particular show, but we have some that are true junkers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will. Um, they'll go, oh, don't worry about the price on that. Tell me if you like it and we'll make a deal. Um, there's a group that I follow, a right. man and woman, super nice called Heavenly Junk. They have a YouTube channel too. And they were the first, my first show, they were beside me. They helped me so much, but they are true junkers. Like they go out in fields and barns and stuff and find things. And yes, they um, ended up saying, I don't want to take these pieces of furniture home. I'll give them to you. And we traded like cookies for furniture. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I just turned around and flipped the furniture. And, and that's how everybody else was there. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else there, see, at the show had been, you know, telling me, you know, if you see something you like, let me know. We can work a deal, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Most of them so, do say that. Most of them do are, are like that. My mistake. She was the only one that I saw that get that got agitated. So, so but she was. Michelle, she was. Michelle negotiates with Newton's cupboard. Um, my mom's being funny, saying that I have this. I still have the first dollar I've ever made. I work hard for my money. Um, and then Katie said she's a negotiator too. Um, now some of them, some of them I do. Then I feel better. Thank you. I'm in good company. No, I just can't do it. I mean, I'm just like, it's okay. If I look at it now, that was one of the things that kind of bothered us is that things were not marked. Yeah. I, hate I did get the nerve to ask how much stuff was as the day went on. Um, and then I'd be like, are you crazy? I just saw one of these at Goodwill, and some of it, remember, had the Goodwill markings on the bot on the bottom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, and that's fine if you're someone who doesn't go out and thrift. If you're yeah, just going there to buy something for your own collection, that's a different thing. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of the prices were great for that, but not for what we do for the majority. Yeah, not for resale. A lot of it was. What do you retail. got, Tammy? I had the 
controversy pin. <laughs> this was a, oh yeah. So I collect these brooches. I have several um, because I started, I seen it on Instagram and I cannot think of her name, but if y'all are on Instagram, y'all probably know who she is. She has the most fantastic small bunches of bunches of small um, vintage stuff, especially Christmas stuff. Um, Maggie or, um, oh my God, that's going to kill me now that I can't think of her name. But she, that, that lady has a true house vintage stuff of everything she collects. So what I started doing is I got this from her. I collect flower frogs, the metal ones, and these pins. And I'm, my, my husband made a shelf in my bathroom window. A, it's a 3D. It's kind of 3D. It's inside the window and he put shelves inside of it. And I put all these in the frog of the, you know, all my flower. I have a bouquet of flowers all in my window and my bathroom. That's and cute. The bathroom window has that, you know, that, um, it's not clear. It's got that mesh stuff or whatever. What is it called? Where you can't see in privacy. Yeah. It's a privacy um, the frosted? film on it. Yeah. The frosting on it. So, so the sunlight hits these and it looks just so pretty. I have to show y'all a picture one day. So, but so I collect these pins. I got I got five of them. While we're from that lady, top. from all day, or from your, from my three trips there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Tampa been multiple times. So I'll stick with pins. I got the first two. I'll, here's the one from the two dollar booth, and this one isn't a cameo, but it's cameo style, and it reminds me of Christine because I know she likes cameos. But I love the the coloring on that. Um, and so I thought that one was really pretty. Then I got a little white owl and he has little jeweled eyes and he's got some glitter on him. See his little jeweled eyes. I thought he was cute. Now, none of these had any markings on them whatsoever. So the back of this one had no markings and the back of this one had no markings. But the very first thing that I saw and the very first thing that I bought was this pin. And um, I'll have to post it on Instagram now that I'm showing it. But it was in the booth. The guy had a big display of uranium glass and all things that glow. And I looked at it and he goes, oh yeah, it glows. And he kind of let me borrow his, his, um, light but when i brought in his light was kind of going out when i brought it home i'm going to post it on instagram when we get done but you should see the glow these light colored ones it almost glows in this light but my mom looked it up about it there being mom what did it say it said something about quartz or some type of of quartz that glows but this is absolutely stunning i did pay six dollars for this but um it is the Oh, it's, she's going to be mad. It is the green. What is the green? Um, emerald and it's my mom's birthstone. You would think I would know for August. Mom, Peridot. So August. Peridot. Yeah. So, um, but hey, D, thanks for coming. But yes, this does glow. So y'all look at my Instagram when this is over. I'm going to show you one, a picture of it like this and a picture under black light because it glows really, really bright. So I, that was, I'm keeping that pin, of course. And mom said, wear that for good luck. And I was like, well, I'm going to need to pin it to my underwear for 2020 if this keeps up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> what you got, Miss Martha? Um, you know, I didn't buy a single pin. I didn't buy any pins. I, I bought planners. <laughs> Yes, you got, the, you got the cake on planners. With the bee on, a, on his bum. <laughs> I and love He's got a little bee on his bum. I saw that. I love that. He's he's like a, a peachy color. And he's just, oh, it's yellow he's kind of, I'm hunched over trying to see that bee. <laughs> well, it's not. <laughs> but uh, as usual, he doesn't have any markings. So I don't know. It could have been made by the guy down the street. <laughs> but he's in good shape. He had he doesn't even have any rough edges. He's good. 
He's still cute. He's still and he's cute. just big enough for an air plant. There you go. Wow. I think he's super That's cute. Little piggy. <laughs> I like him. He, look, he even had his tongue out. Look, it, does he have his tongue out or has he just got a funny snout? I don't know. You know, they make cat pigs and cat cute. dogs. You can't ever tell. Them that <laughs> yeah, dogs. sometimes you can't tell the difference. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, no. You mean he's not a pig? He might be a dog? He might be a cat. I guess he could be a dog. <laughs> But he is, to be honest with yeah, you. Uh, that looks like a pig. Yeah, that looks like a pig. Dang. I think it's a pig. Well, what the color? It makes me think it's a pig. Yeah, that nose. It looks like a pig. Okay, okay the, one planner, Go ahead. the one planner <laughs> we did not get. I got me a little skunker. I never even saw that. <laughs> He's cute. He's so Look cute. at the flowers on it, too. But, but uh, Oh, that is cute. No markings. No markings on him. But I love the skunk. I love skunks. They're so cute. I have a whole little collection of skunks. It's Look so at his little cute. happy face. <laughs> the only planner I got. Yeah, Katie's. Oh, my mom girl, said. that's terrible. You only got one? This time around, yeah. I got a bunch of planners out there. I got a in my stash. I have a bunch. The back side of him. Flowers on the back side. He's a cute. A little bitty one. He is cute. I love his face, Tammy. And um Katie has know, decided so it's a pig dog. What? Katie decided it's a pig dog. Pig, oh, dog. pig dog. <laughs> All right, I only, I'll advertise him as a pig dog. There you go. I only have two more things. The last thing is the one thing that we all got to like, and I'm going to show these together um, because I think somebody else has a sale. Is it, is it Stephanie that has a sale tonight? I can't remember who does Tuesday nights, but I got two. Uh, it is somebody because I it's later. I think it's it maybe Stephanie because she's on the... Um, and she's like Washington. So I have a lady who collects Hummels and I found two uh, Hummel plates. This one is 1979 and this one is 1988. Surprisingly, the 1988 is more valuable than the 1979. And I don't know, and these are new in box. And this was from the guy that gave me everything for um, everything for $8. And there were two of these plates in the little commemorative box here. Um, and it has all of their paperwork. So it opens up, I can't find it, right here. And when you open it up, it has all of the original paperwork with it. Um, and then I did not try to take it out. Well, let me be honest. I did try to take it out and I couldn't get it out. So <laughs> there's the 1979 plate. And um, then I have the 88 plate. Now the 88 plate, when I look it up, it's a little bit more collectible, but I think it's because, yeah, it has like all of the paperwork with it. Hold on and I'll. I can't get it out, but I'll take it out of the box. But I think it's because it's got the little sheep with it, like a little shepherd. But they are in perfect condition, new in the box. And I do have a lady that is a Hummel collector, and um, she's already wanting to come by and look at these. And I'll, I, she was, I said, well, I need them for a haul, and then you can come by and look at them. <laughs> so I picked both of these up. Now, originally, he, there was a $10 a piece tag on these. But it was just thrown in with all of the other stuff that I got um, with, for $8. So, yes, I think Katie is at eight and Joni well, is. I don't know that. Gaining time. Yes. Yeah, I think that, that's what uh, Katie posted earlier. I saw it on Instagram. That sounds right. That's so helpful, Katie, when you do that because I can't keep when, up. I know. Well, and so many different people are on and different people follow different people. So they have different uh, knowledge. 
Now, when I shop, a lot of times I shop by colors. Colors attract me. Before I even decide that I like with the figurine, I'm, I'm drawn to them by the colors. And I don't pick up a bunch of Easter themed things like bunnies, but I did these because of the colors. They're like a very pastel watered down color, which seemed vintage to me. Seems like everything now when you when they make it, you know, when you get it at the, the dollar stores and stuff, it's such bright, harsh colors. And these little bunnies were just the softest little blue and pink and, and you know, I don't know. They're just pastel. And then they have very textured faces. Their fur is textured on their little faces. Hmm. So that's why I chose them. He's cute. And I really did need to pick up more Easter stuff. So. You just know, a little thing, not marked. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> it could be new. <laughs> All right, Tammy, what you got? Okay. That's well, it. I got That's all this I got set. Right. It's a three piece. It's a it has my favorite colors on there. The orange, green, no yellow. It has purple, but you know, I still like it. But a little they're cake plates, not saucers necessarily, but this was all they had together, the three pieces, not four, but I got those. I just love the colors. That's what attracted me to it. And then the back side has a little bit of a smaller print, a bigger print. And there's no marking on them. I don't know who they're made for them. I looked them up. I found the plate, but it had a total different description on it from something else when you can't always find them like that. It has a, a orange trim around it, like down here and on the edges of the plate orange but i thought they were cute so everybody needs a cake plate yeah. I, I love that footed base on yeah they're the coffee cup is footed yeah uh -huh. it always makes me think of late 60s early 70s i remember my mom having some like that too bad there's not four to, you know the even set but uh, it it worked for us three girls. Well, not everybody <laughs> has four. <laughs> Come on down yeah. on the plate, and we'll have cake. Bring your plates. <laughs> cake and coffee. <laughs> okay, the last item that we're going to show y'all tonight, and thanks so much for hanging in there um, with us. When you, um, either you can X out of the live chat and give this video a thumbs up, or you can do it when, um, when it's over, but we would you to give this video a thumbs up and if you have not most of you already are but if you have not subscribed to my channel carolina princess sweet treats and pretties i would like to invite you to do that i just started doing some simple diys i have two crash to treasure thursday videos the first one will air this thursday and then the following thursday and i usually have a haul video as i work through the hoard to um on Tuesdays. And so be on the lookout for those. And we're getting really good with these lives. Thanks to my friend, Christine, who showed me how to work YouTube. So um, if you are not subscribed to Martha, she is conversation, one conversation, not conversations, because <laughs> I kept putting it in wrong. I couldn't find it. But um, she has some great knowledge. Just, me. Just you. <laughs> um, but she does, Martha, you really do. You really have some great insight and some knowledge. So when I was digging through the bins, I was remembering, I was like, I wonder if that's one of those headrests things. <laughs> um, and then Tim is at Vintage Uprising, Texas. Um, and so both of these ladies are on Instagram and YouTube. Um, and Tammy has some great hauls. They go everywhere. Now, Martha and them will go to Oklahoma to the bins. I'm not that brave yet. But Tammy and her husband, they go everywhere. They must have gone three or four times just to Round Top. Um, we made it once, and I, um, I had to sleep all the next day because I was exhausted. But um, great channel, so I would love to invite you to subscribe to all of our channels. So the last item we got, we found at the $2 table that we keep talking about, and uh, we found three of them, and we decided to each get one to commemorate our little trip together because it really was fun, ladies. Thank you so much for um, inviting me and meeting me up there. Um, but they're little ashtrays um, called smokers, and mine is a little boat. 
and you put your cigarette right here and the smoke comes out the top. Um, so mine is a little boat and I pick this one up. There's no chips or cracks, even in the little flower at the top or the smoke sack. So I got the boat. What'd you get, Martha? I got the train and mine doesn't have a little rough spot, a little broken piece on the flower. You can't really see it much, but it's there. But um, um, Beth, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for putting this together. I appreciate it. I had a great time. I loved meeting you and Tammy. And I want to thank everybody who showed up tonight and stuck with us. And some of the people who just, even though they only popped in for a little bit, it was, I felt honored to have them come and see us, you know, and um, they're why we do it. You know, we're, we're friends. We like to show off what we get to each other and it's been great. And I've had a wonderful time and thank you all for coming. Well, I think Tammy probably got a phone call because it kicked her out again. So if she comes back in, she was able to get back in at the end. We will have her um, before we leave, we will have her show hers. And I don't know why I didn't get the train because everything I picked up that day was train. And so I don't know how I ended up with the I boat, know. but I ended up with the boat and, um, and I know you, and you chose first. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I saw that. I don't remember what she got. Do you remember what she got? No, she got that cottage. She got the little house. The and house. It, yes. And it, it has a little chimney. chimney. That's right. So hopefully she'll be able to get back on. So I do want to say thanks to everybody for um, coming out. It was a great time. Again, um, I know we're going to see each other in the uh, live sales and I've got some video watching to catch up on um, when we, what is, oh yes, my um, great uncle worked on the railroad. They had some great pieces um, there. Oh wait, she, I think she's coming back. So let me invite add her back tammy did you get a phone call yes i thought i had it on not disturb so, so i gotta ours. figure that out <laughs> um we showed our little smokestack so as we close out oh you got the that's right she didn't get the house she got the little smokestack oh, person i have the, the, the thing. wooden stove uh, there so, yeah anyways sorry we thought you got the cottage <laughs> I don't know why we thought, was there even a house? Maybe not. There was a house. I was choosing from the house or this. Yes. But uh, yeah. my husband picked this one. He told me to get this one. I think it's cute. So I just love the fact that to commemorate our first little YouTube meetup, and I highly recommend if you're even close to anybody yeah. that um, you try to do a meetup. We have a couple of more ladies. Tippy Winks, um, Vintage, that was in the chat. She had to go, but she's in Houston. And then we have Carrie ATX is in Austin. And Jay Dallas City Thrift mm -hmm. is, or Dallas City Vintage. I can't remember which one. I'm always messing that up. But his name is Jay. He's super cute. He's a cute little, <laughs> he's in Dallas. Um, so when we can come together again, um, we'll do it. I'm, I'm so up for it. But I, I know that Lori from... Blue Flamingo, Mercantile, and Christine, they do, they go thrifting a lot together. So I look forward to our next um, adventure together, ladies. So again, everybody, thanks so much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channels. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye, y'all. Thanks. Coming. Bye, everybody.